name is Jeb McKeon, and today we're going to talk about the importance of signing legal documents with a blue pen and blue ink. Why is this important? Oftentimes, it can become a dispute as to what document is the original. It's very important in some instances to have the original of a document, a will, a deed, something that the judge may have signed in blue ink. We need the original. It's very important to have the original. And how do you differentiate that if something is in black ink? and You can't really tell if that's an original signature or not. Well, the easy way is to sign in an ink color other than black, and most courts will only accept documents that have signatures in black ink or blue ink. So like red is not accepted. They will, the courts won't even accept that document for filing. So how do we clear that up? Well, blue ink, when it's made through a copier, turns into a black copy. So blue ink is the preferred copy for original documents with courts. Some courts won't accept anything other than blue ink. This can come up in many instances. One time when the Dodgers were getting split up by a married couple, the Major League Baseball team, there was a big dispute about the original copies of the prenup agreement they had, and they had to have all these experts about the blue ink as opposed to black ink. So, if you're worried about signing something with a bank, a legal document, something with significance, make sure to sign in blue ink. You can find out more about this legal issue and other legal issues by going to my website, attorney-knoxville.com. You can also view my other YouTube videos.